This is Greg with Fully Tech Marine, and we've got the uh, U-Sun single stage 40 to 1 booster and the uh, Bender's Master Blender Kit. We're going to show you this in action. So we've got a couple of bottles over here. We're just letting the gear dry out. We're back it's Sunday night after an awesome weekend of diving. We want to get everything turned around and ready to go. So we've got two bottles of oxygen to fill. We got the booster and we got a bottle of oxygen over here. We're going to show you how this works. So this is the single stage. It's kind of our middle of the line booster. Uh, it is perfectly adequate for uh, everybody up to a small shop. Every uh, home fill station, this is the perfect uh, perfect bullet for you. So uh, we're going to be running this off a shop compressor. It's down in the basement. It runs through some basic filtration. Uh, we also have a high pressure drive kit available. Uh, we'll do a video on that later. Uh, so you can run it off your cascade, run it off a set of doubles, run it off independent uh, uh, air bottles, whatever you got. So the master blender kit, we've done a video on this before, sort of the heart of the system is this uh, integrated pressure gauge uh, and din fill. This goes basically, this is this is your supplier. This is where you're gonna send your gas through. Uh, it's got a ball valve at the end, we're gonna show you that. Two whips, uh, another din, CJ 346 for uh, filling oxygen or filling air. Uh, or, or running off of air, uh, CGA 540 for oxygen and a CGA 580 for helium. So in this case, we're going to set all this stuff aside. Uh, all we need is this CGA 540 hand wheel. We're going to put that on our bottle of oxygen. Cinch that hand tight. Then we're going to take our Supply gas whip, six foot whip. We're gonna plug that in. We're gonna plug that into the inlet of the booster. Then we're gonna take our driven gas side or, or our fill side. And it's got the same fitting on both ends, so it's pretty idiot proof. We're gonna plug that into the outside inlet of the booster. And then we're gonna plug that into our supply fitting. We're gonna turn the digital pressure gauge on. And we're going to connect this to our rebreather bottle or whatever bottle we need to fill. We don't uh, we don't discriminate against the open circuit guys. So here's what we got. We are now connected. We do need to do a quick purge. So what we'll do is just charge that and just blow it off a little bit. Just that way we've got pure O2 through the entire system because these are all going to be filled with air from sitting. So now we're going to turn our rebreather bottle on. We're going to turn this hand wheel all the way on. And we're going to turn this on. In this case, the gas in the auction bottle may be a little bit higher than what's going in. So we want to open it really, really slowly. If this gas exceeds, if this gas pressure exceeds the bottle gas pressure, it's going to flow just naturally until they equalize. In this case, we basically equalized we're going to open this guy all the way up. We've got our drive gas already hooked up. Make sure everything's nice and open. And we're going to open this valve. We're going to use this valve as a throttle. We don't want any more than about one to one and a half strokes per second. We're going to start generating heat as this boosts. And as the faster that runs, the hotter it's going to get. So, this is about the speed, you don't really want to exceed that to a safe speed. And as you can see, we're moving a lot of gas in our hurry. And now this bottle's full, it's not too hot. If it gets too hot, we'll uh, give them a break, we'll throw them in the fridge, throw them in some water, whatever. So we're going to shut this one down, we're shutting this this isolator down, then we're going to shut the tank down, and we are going to bleed that off. The C, you'll notice the whip and everything is still charged. So we've only wasted maybe, I don't know, a couple cubic centimeters of oxygen. If we were running helium, it would be even more important. We're going to set this one aside because it's full and ready to be analyzed. We're going to go to our next one. So we've got this connected, but before we open these, we're going to go back over to our oxygen tank. We're going to shut that valve off because, again, we don't know what the pressure is 
and we don't want a runaway fill. Now we can open both the isolator and the tank and see where we're at. In this case, we're 1,200 PSI. Now we're gonna open this oxygen tank slowly and allow the gas to move at a controlled rate. So now we've equalized again with our supply gas or a bottle of O2. Again, if the bottle of O2 is a lower pressure, it's gonna equalize earlier and take a little bit longer to fill. And we're gonna go over to our throttle now. And there we go again. So we're going to shut this one down. We're going to bleed down and we're going to disconnect. And you can see again, the hose is still charged, the booster's charged. We aren't wasting any gas except for just a small amount between the two valves. And there you go, three rebreather bottles filled in a matter of about 10 minutes, ready to go back out exploring next weekend when we're done work. And uh, that's the magic of Bender's Master Blender Kit and the uh, single stage 40 to 1 booster. Thanks for watching.